All right, so if you do a, a search of YouTube, you're going to find you know, literally hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, bearish YouTube videos um, you know, telling investors that the stock market is going back down. And, and I warned several weeks ago that this was uh, very likely to be a V-shaped recovery. Um, you know, not only uh, was price uh, way too far below the long-term moving in, moving averages, which was going to trigger an aggressive regression to the mean uh, snapback rally, but um, we've also got every central bank in the in the world printing a QE to infinity. I mean, there's just no logical reason to to try and fight that. Uh, and as I've been saying all along, we're still fairly early in the innovation cycle. Um, we've probably still got another 10, 15 years to go. This um, this uh, is the massive sentiment reset that is going to power the next 10 years of the of the bull market. The uh, the bear market here in uh, 2008 2009. This this was the sentiment reset that um, set the stage for the for the first half of this bull market here, and and we we have seen all the way up the perma bears, uh, you know they're they're waiting for the next shoe to drop. They're waiting for a repeat of this. They've been bearish the whole way up. Every time we get an intermediate uh, degree correction, or, or an especially uh, a four-year cycle low, we we had one in um, uh, 2011. We had another one here in 2016, uh, and then we're getting one now. Uh, the the uh, perma bears uh, come out of the woodwork. They you know, calls for uh, another crash. I, I even saw an analyst predicting uh, a 95% loss in the stock market. Um, it's just these. It's just not going to happen. This. This is. We're in a new innovation cycle, and it's still fairly young. We've still got at least another 10 or 15 years to go. This uh, was the sentiment reset. Uh, that will power the next 10 years, just like this was the sentiment reset that created the wall of worry that, that powered uh, the first um, 10 years of this uh, bull market. So as I, as I said, I, I warned that uh, this was likely to be a, a V-shaped recovery, and that is exactly what's happening. Uh, there's a, a couple of parameters that I'm looking at, uh, and I'll go over them in tonight's um, premium report. Uh, so, you know, if you want to um, get a little bit more in-depth um, analysis, I'll explain this in tonight's report for subscribers. But uh, there's a couple of parameters I'm looking at, and if those are met here pretty soon, then we're going to test these all-time highs during, uh, maybe during this first daily cycle, uh, certainly before the um, intermediate cycle tops. And uh, as I've said in... Um, my previous videos, uh, a retest of this low is completely dependent on whether or not politicians come to their senses and we, uh, you know, restart the economy uh, quickly. Uh, and I'm I'm hoping that uh, Trump has enough balls to just um, order the states back to work and, and put an end to this insanity. Um, and and if so, then then we don't. There's no need to retest this low. This is going to be a four-year cycle low, and at some point we'll just have a, an intermediate degree correction, something similar to what happened right here, and uh, and we we won't come back down to test this low. Uh, I'll go over those uh, parameters uh, in tonight's report for uh, premium subscribers. Um, moving over to the S&P, um, you know, as soon as the S&P regained this 200-week moving average, that was a big uh, clue that the perma bears were wrong again, and uh, you know, and at that point, you you needed to be getting into long positions. I'll say this again: uh, we're only, you know, this this would have been the last week of the decline, so we're only three weeks into uh, a new into the advancing phase of a new intermediate cycle. Um, Again, if we start the economy back up quickly here, then this intermediate cycle will right translate, which means we've got another, you know, 10 weeks, maybe even as many as 15 weeks before this uh, intermediate cycle tops. So, you know, if you if you continue to listen to the perma bears, you know, they're going to keep you on the wrong side of the market, just like they have for the last 
uh, 10 years. Uh, they don't understand what is driving this bull market. And yes, to some extent, it is monetary policy and QE, but there is a bigger underlying driver, and that is that we are in a new innovation phase, um, very similar to uh, the personal computer and the internet that drove the bull market from 1980 to 2000. Um, uh, plastics and electronics is what uh, drove the bull market from uh, the end of World War II to uh, 1966. Uh, and, uh, of course, the bull market back in the 20s was uh, mass production in the automobile. Uh, you know, th these innovation cycles take time to mature. We're only 10, weeks, 10 years in. we still got a long time before um, the innovation cycle becomes mature and, and we enter the next long-term secular bull market. And the perma bears just either don't understand this or too stupid to understand this or refuse to understand this. But... This is the main driver that is driving this bull market. And um, monetary policy is certainly a component, but it is not the main uh, underlying reason for this uh, long-term bull market.